Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is information architecture, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content records, and business processes. This module is part of the Architecture and Systems Knowledge domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll discuss information relationship building and automation covering such ground as thesaurus, semantic networking, relational knowledge representation, and technologies for automating information extraction, description, and classification. A thesaurus is a file that manages and tracks the definition of words and phrases and their relationships to one another in a hierarchical fashion. Ranging far beyond simple antonyms and synonyms, it also includes comparisons like equal to and related to and opposite of and it's critical to ensuring a correlation can be made between the taxonomies and metadata of every repository, business unit, or functional group touched by an information solution. Semantic networks are functionally similar to thesauri but operate on a higher conceptual plane. For example, in the context of a salad, a semantic network-based system would understand that content about mescaline greens, endive, and radicchio has something in common with content about lettuce and it will use a metadata-based infrastructure to unlock these particular secrets. The diagram on the screen here illustrates the concept in a different arena, relating various terms having to do with an electric lamp and connecting elements like power and heat to illumination. Relational knowledge representation essentially is nothing but a fancy phrase that means presenting comparisons. From an information management perspective, Database tables often do the trick by systematically setting out in columns each fact about a set of objects. A simple example is shown here and paves the way for people or knowledge systems to answer such questions as who's still alive, who plays jazz, who plays the trumpet, and so forth. Once information relationships have been established, technology can be effectively utilized to automate content extraction, description, and classification, and thereby make indexing and thus retrieval not only more efficient, but also more reliable and consistent. Here's a few. Auto classification software identifies documents by matching their observed or calculated characteristics against a predefined list of descriptors. Auto categorization sounds a similar theme, but differs in that its list of descriptors can be built from the documents being analyzed, rather than having to use a predetermined set of values. The two often work together and in fact can live within the same engines, and thus they're frequently treated as synonyms. Operating at a level below the document, entity extraction involves plucking keywords and descriptors directly from the information itself, not only improving keyword searching but also opening the door to semantic networking. Examples include OCR, ICR, optical mark reading, barcoding, and forms processing, all of which, by the way, are explored in this course's module on capture. And then there's summarization, which can be used to quickly identify the key topics of a document while eliminating redundant information. This module has discussed information relationship building and automation, covering such ground as thesaurus, semantic networking, relational knowledge representation, and technologies for automating information extraction, description, and classification. Having completed it, you may next wish to review the module on conducting a content and metadata audit. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the Information Certification Exam. This proctor test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org certification. Thank you.